We graduated a lot of seniors from the previous team, so we have a lot of guys uh, stepping into leadership roles and starting positions who don't necessarily have varsity experience. Um, and so this summer we're really trying to help them get bigger, stronger, better shape, um, but more used to the pressure of being the guy, you know, and th that's a difficult thing for a teenage kid who's never done it before. So we have a few returning starters. Uh, defensively, uh, we have Mike Thielbar, who is our biggest, strongest kid. Uh, he started on both sides of the line last year, uh, and he's gotten really big and really strong. So he's an explosive kind of lineman, um, so I would expect him to make lots of plays. Um, we have a defensive end that we moved to linebacker, John Bowen. Um, he's one of our best all-around defensive players, and so I think you'll see him making a lot of tackles. And then we, our other two returning defensive starters um, will be playing outside linebacker on both sides. So we have Jay Nascimento on one side, we have Mike Doherty on the other side, um, and I think it, they make a pretty strong linebacking core. At receiver, we have Jaden Dotton, uh, who's a sophomore uh, and has been making plays all summer, as well as some more um, experienced senior receivers, uh, Mike Mazzi, uh, James Bradley. So there's a lot of guys, uh, a lot of different ways I think we can move the ball, uh, which might be different to watching games last year. Uh, and so I'm excited about all of it. We have the benefit of one of the biggest, best stocked fitness rooms, I think in the greater Boston area for a high school. Uh, we have lots of space in there, lots of equipment, uh, thanks in large part to uh, recent donors like the Touchdown Club uh, and the high school themselves have put a lot of money, time and effort into that room. So that allows us to have stations. So uh, a typical lift will consist of four stations, three lifts um, and a cardio or core station. Um, so our workouts start for about an hour in the weight room, stretching, um, getting three main lifts in with some supplemental lifts uh, in a good core session. And then we come out here. Uh, we do about 20 to 30 minutes of uh, sprint training, endurance training, or uh, change of direction training. Yeah, so the two things we do to prevent injury, one of it is conditioning, uh, because the muscles have to be ready to perform for a two hour window. Uh, for a game, which is a really long time, a lot of stress on the body. The other thing for injury prevention is stretching. Uh, we, do, we put a lot of time into increasing their flexibility because the longer those muscles can stretch, then if they do stretch in a game more than usual, they're less likely to um, suffer an injury. So uh, that's a huge focus. And I think the other big thing that comes out of um, conditioning or strength and conditioning um, is like the camaraderie that evolves. You know, these guys uh, doing it together and they hold each other accountable and they see the value in it. So uh, it becomes the expectation that you're here and you're working and you're making yourself better. When I first got hired, one of the big questions from the school and the kids themselves was, how do we get more people to the games? You know, they want to be watched. They like the pressure of having a big crowd. I think in big moments, it helps push them over the edge. Um, and so maybe the fan doesn't realize what they're doing for the players, uh, but the players really appreciate it. Um, otherwise, I mean, everything we do, we either fundraise or it's through the school, you know, just supported by the community. And so um, I think in revitalizing the weight room and in having this beautiful turf and in redoing the track, I think the community already does a lot in making sure we have the kind of facilities um, to compete with the best schools in this area. Um, and we're in the Middlesex League, the large division. Those are really strong schools and strong communities. Um, so I think kind of supporting us, having our back, you know, coming to the games, uh, building the excitement, uh, I think that's really what is happening. Um, so I appreciate not only ACMI helping get our message out to the community, but also uh, the reciprocal nature of people tuning in and listening and being interested.